So there's a lot of hype around High Energy Heroes, which is the Apex mobile game available only in China. And in my last video, I mentioned that it could be coming globally. Since then, we haven't heard too much from the game. It's launched fully in China, so it's available to play right now, and it's in Season 1. The latest news is that they recently posted some advertisement for the Season 2 of the game, which dropped on 23rd of November. And it includes the new Mirage ship. Similar to what we saw in Apex Legends Mobile with Rhapsody's ship, it looks like they're doing the same sort of of Apex Mobile updates with content as they're releasing the new Mirage ship in Season 2 and a brand new Legend which looks like it's going to be Bangalore or the Chinese version of Bangalore. So each season they're going to release obviously new content and a new Legend. Now I've said before in mobile games they usually launch a test server in China first and play out like two or three seasons before bringing it to the global market. Now we don't know if that's definitely going to happen in this game but in games like Call of Duty Mobile you can play the Chinese test server to see what content that they'll be putting into the game later on so if high energy heroes somehow launch this game globally and you know avoid all of the copyrights that could come their way from respawn for copy and apex legends then season three or four of high energy heroes would probably be coming around february 2024 in three months which means that we could get a global launch there all right mobile gamers i have the best gaming chairs to help support your back and body when playing your favorite mobile games thunder x3 have the most insane gaming chairs on the market which supports your posture in all directions and it delivers the most comfy sitting experience built with six multifunctional mechanisms for six ways adjustability this is the core loft gaming chair and they were kind enough to send me one which i set up in literally 30 minutes it has a slick gray design with head support back support and adjustable arms to help keep you as comfy as possible when playing mobile it's honestly one of the most comfy gaming chairs i've ever sat in and a big difference with this gaming chair in particular compared to other gaming chairs is the forward seat tilt which lets you keep your lower body free and open even when you're leaning in try harding on mobile they are super affordable at great prices so go check the link in the description and pick up one yourself Okay, so this is what High Energy Heroes looks like right now. I want to keep you guys up to date. And this is the Bangalore that's going to be coming in the next season. So what is the global version actually going to look like? Obviously, right now, everything is in Chinese. So it's very hard to understand what everything does. All of the writing is Chinese at the bottom. If you go into Legends, all of those are in Chinese as well. Currently, they've got 8, 9, 10 Legends available. And then the new Bangalore that's going to be coming soon, which is 11 Legends. They got, you know, Octane, they got Lifeline, they got Pathfinder. They're already bringing some, like, insane skins in the game, as well as lucky draws that we've obviously seen in Apex Legends Mobile. They were obviously quite scammy in Apex Legends Mobile, but I don't know if they're going to be as scammy in the Chinese version. We don't know, but you can see these, you know, these insane-looking skins right here. Like, look at this. It's cool, like, Pathfinder. We've got this, like, Lifeline, like, cyborg-looking skin as well with some of these lucky draws, which look insane. Uh, we've got Kia. They've even brought in, you know, video content of new skin ready. Look at that Octane skin. Look how sick that Octane skin looks like. Like, I can't believe this game's not global with the amount of insane-looking skins they've got in this game. Look at that. How insane does that look? As well as this one as well. Yo. So that's the uh, Bloodhound character. Um, which is like a sort of vampire looking character. But right there, that skin looks absolutely insane. Um, they've also got like deep skins as well. We saw these in the last update. Um, obviously like Loba clears. Like, without Loba, is it really, you know, an Apex mobile type game? Like, I mean... It It'd be good if that skin was on Loba, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, it's not. Uh, so, again, they've got ranked in here. They've got the same sort of game modes as Apex Legends Mobile. Right now, it's quads. Um, there's no first-person mode, but there is speculation the first-person mode is dropping very, very soon. We don't know yet. We have seen some first-person gameplay already. Um, but let's just drop into, let's just drop into, like, the firing range again and take a look at what it looks like right now. So again, like, it's all Chinese right now. The global version will obviously look a lot different. They'd have to do a lot of changes. Obviously, they'd have to add everything in English writing. They'd have to change a lot of the skins and stuff to sort of look English in a way. Um, but yeah, this is the highest graphics of high-energy heroes right now. In my opinion, this is one of the most optimized mobile games I think I've probably ever, ever played. I'm not going to lie. Like Apex Legends was quite, Apex Mobile was quite optimized, right? COD Mobile is quite optimized. PUBG Mobile is optimized. But this is next level. 
I know obviously I'm on an iPad and I've tested out on the brand new Red Magic 8S Pro as well, which is the best gaming phone on the market. But a lot of gamers with low-end devices and mid-end devices have tried this game as well and said it absolutely runs flawlessly. Like the, the, the smoothness, the textures, the lighting, obviously it looks incredible on this iPad. Um, but, I mean, let's just, let's just grab a Kraber real quick and just film this dude right there. Cool. Even the sounds and everything just feel incredible. Now again, if this comes globally, it I think it could be one of the biggest mobile games. You know, again, they would have to change a lot of stuff to English, even like the, the writing at the top of the screen there is all in Chinese. They'd have, they'd have to change a lot of stuff. But I think if they market this and they did this well, and somehow get past the copyright issues that Respawn have as well, because we all know that, you know, Respawn, this is a straight copy of Apex Legends Mobile, just with different legends and slight tweaks. Still got the aim, boys, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the fire range right there. And I want you guys to hit a like right now and drop a comment down below. And let, let me go, let me know what you guys think because I know there is that Apex Mobile community that want a similar style Apex Mobile game on mobile. You know? Most of the games right now on mobile are so dry and stale. I'm having a hard time even creating content because there's, there's not much. A lot of other mobile gamers are struggling with content as well because the mobile gaming market is just in this kind of weird, like, I'd say like six to 12 month, like, low stage where there's not really much happening. Now we've got Project Bloodstrike coming. We got High Energy Heroes possibly globally launching. Division of Surge just came out as well. Um, and then we've obviously got Wars of Mobile, which is coming until April, which is still a far way off. But yeah, I just wanted to make an update video just to show you guys and let you know that, you know, I'm still hyped for this game. If it does come globally, I really hope it does. There is speculation. You know, we've saw some rumors already that there could be the global launch happening. But right now, as of what date is it today? As of the 19th of November, there's not much. Um, season 2 of this game drops on the 23rd, so I'll obviously update, uh, I'll do a new video then and I'll update and show you guys what that looks like, but right now, there's not much going on. There's not any rumours, there's not any new hype, there's not new speculation, there's pretty much nothing new going on with High Energy Heroes. Um, for now, but, I mean, again, if it does, if it does come out, then I think a lot of you guys will be playing it with me, you know? Drop a comment down below if you are definitely going to try this game and play this game if it does, you know, launch globally. Um, just take a look. I mean, just look, even look at, like, the background graphics and everything. I think this looks better than Apex Legends Mobile. This firing range definitely looks better. And then the graphic style and everything right there. Just look at it, man. It, you got to admit, this is a beautiful looking game. One of the most beautiful games I've ever seen on mobile. And I know a lot of you guys will be saying, you know, Roche, just, just leave it. Leave it. A lot of you guys will be saying, you know, Rose is never coming, it's never coming. I'm staying hopeful because potentially if it does, it could be a really big game. But that's basically all I've got for you guys today. I know it's not really anything new, but I'm going to keep you guys updated as much as I can with anything. Um, season 2 drops very soon. I'll update you guys then and show you some more gameplay. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm sorry with, again, the content. It's very dry right now. The mobile market is very dry. But... I'm still here, and I'm going to give you guys some hot content when we finally get a new mobile game. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace.